Did you call the cops? Nope. We took her to lunch. Ah, your own brand of vigilante justice. <laughs> You're insane? This woman stole from you. She, she stole. She's a stealer. You know what? After you're with this woman for like ten minutes, you forget all that. <laughs> She is this astounding person with this, with this uh, amazing spirit. Yeah, which she probably stole from some cheerleader. <laughs> Take off their hats. Pops in a Volkswagen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love that, Jeff. No way. No way did you do this. Manato was very brave. <laughs> it was so wild. We told him that we were the Gunnersons in room 615. <laughs> Only to find out that the boss had felt it. They take it over the entire sixth floor. So when they caught on to the fact that we're, you know, short and have breath, <laughs> they threw us out. I was thrown out of a hotel. Me. No, Manana. <laughs> well, you ladies are not the only ones living the dream. I get to go pour coffee for people I don't know. Don't wake up. <laughs> oh, by the way, tomorrow we're auditioning for a Broadway show. <laughs> Excuse me? There's an open call for cats. I'm thinking we go down there, sing memories, and make complete fools of ourselves. What do you say? <sighs> no, 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 no. Remember who you're dealing with here. <laughs> I mean, I'm not like you. I can't even stand in front of a tap class. Well, that's just probably because of your Amish background. <laughs> what? Well, you're Pennsylvania Dutch, right? Right. Until I bought a blow dryer, and then I was shunted. <laughs> I, I used to be just like you. And then one day, I saw a movie that changed my life. Did you ever see Dead Poets Society? Uh-huh. I thought that movie was so incredibly boring. <laughs> I mean, that thing at the end where the kid kills himself because he can't be in the play? What was that? It's like kids, play a year, leave home, do some community theater. <laughs> Come in. 